just kind of drop this down here. All right, let's see what this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun resolution right here. So the fulminant prism will explode. This is going to hit somebody. This is going to be an arcane festival. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't have very many magic points left, so I'm going to actually go up the steps. And I'm going to blink to see where I get. That was a really good blink, and these guys are not going to like my Steam Breath at all um, because they are cold, ugly things. I've got my breath back. Did I kill them? No, they just... Did they lose me? Here they are. They're coming. They're coming for me. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, look at that. How did... Wait, we had it. Yeah, look at this. This is pretty hilarious. Playing a little pinball. <laughs> ah, Peacock, good one. They are. Yep, they're good old games for life. They're just like, nah, Steam is garbage. It does, Chris. The background music is, <laughs> yeah, epic game. They're, they're like, epic games for life. The background music, Chris, is all video game lo-fi music. So it's just video game music, which you would recognize, that's been remixed with lo-fi beats behind it. So you will hear stuff, like this is Persona. You will hear stuff that you are familiar with. All right, let me just. Yeah. That's right, St. Roz. I just go lo-fi and I go for Zot right, just right off the bat. Got him. Yeah, the, the people who do this is, they're called Game Chops, and it's like a, a group of artists who do the remix, and, and you get stuff like from Mega Man to Zelda to, to, you know, Donkey Kong, all kinds of games. It's really cool. No, you know what, Dylan? I'm with you 100%. Um, Epic has been actually really good i've gotten a bunch of free stuff as well so i have no beef with epic so far hey hey sir theodore that's right i am i am a draconian wizard looking to cause some trouble for zot boom Exactly, Peacock. There you go. Now now you got the lo-fi graphic for Dungeon Crawl. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I agree, St. Roz. Saint, competition is good for consumers. I mean, Steam was basically becoming just the only place to go. Now that you have, like, Fanatical and um, Epic and good old games, you know, there's there's some other places you can go. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, they... Yeah. there, There is that, Dylan. Oh, you know what, Peacock? Yes, uh, Sir Theodore, which I'm sure you've seen Peacock on the Discord, he draws some sweet pictures. I'm jelly. Let's get this guy dead. I should stop using this staircase. It's a disaster. All right. Let's get some 
some space. Yeah, you see, I get into enemies like this. Um, okay, Slayer. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. I really hope, Slayer, that you enjoy playing Dungeon Crawl. I think you're going to have a blast. Yeah, Neo, I do too. I mean, I use Steam pretty much 95% of the time, but I love picking up free games on other stuff. Although if it's old stuff, I I play it on good old games. Like, you know, games that I used to own on floppy disks or CD-ROMs from back in the day. I generally buy those from good old games. Yeah, they do, Enon. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I should be, be doing that more often. I mean, it's pretty much the only thing I've got. Hey, Lightning Spire, why are you not shooting that guy? There you go. Yeah, Courage, you're right. I, I need to be just getting back to it. There it is. It's my go-to. And again, like, I know I've said this before, and I'm going to keep saying it, like, millions and millions of times, but I love the fact that I can just spam orb of destruction and my only consideration is my magic points um and and the terrain i don't have to worry about food it's just great yeah dylan for sure good old games has and they will put stuff on like the deepest sale i know curry i know curses is going to be a real dream boat Oh, okay, Sir Theodore. This is like, um, it's less like Diablo than, yeah, exactly. Like St. Roz is talking, like a like an RPG. Um, and it's an old school roguelike dungeon crawler game. It's permadeath. But there's not as much loot necessarily as Diablo really and it's it's uh, turn based would be the main differences but there is a lot of loot so there is there's definitely Diablo 2 in that way oh you know what's funny Chris is I tested out an Atari um, a few months ago and it was still working just fine really the only thing that was challenging about the Atari was making sure I could hook it up to a TV. You know, all of those hookups from those old school systems, if you don't have component cables, it's getting bad. Like, TVs still do have coax inputs, but woof. Yeah, it does, Curry, and that's the point. It's, it's not really spray and pray like Diablo, where you're just like nuking the whole screen. It's, it's more intense. So I want that hat, but I don't know if I can beat Hala's ghost. Um, Hala the Destroyer, a journeyman green draconian conjurer of the human... Hmm. Exactly, St. Roz, and I, I agree 100%, which is why I'm really trying to get this win and be slow with it. But some of the quality of life improvements they put into point two six, like not f not worrying about food, and then being able to map the F key to a spell, um, makes it a little bit easier. It is a shiny hat, I know. Although, Snack, in all fairness, my last Draconian, who was really, really going well, died because I went into a teleporter vault to get a hat. It was in a gauntlet, but it was still pretty much this exact situation. Oh, you know what's cool, Dylan, is um, right on my desk or in my drawer, 
is I have the Final Fan or the Fantasy Star Three poster that I still keep. I also have Final Fantasy One in the box on my desk as a office design. All right, let me check his spells. He only has Magic Dart. The problem more is that he's he's got this weapon of flaming, right? I don't know. Maybe it's not that hard. But Yeah, there's also a Hydra. Yeah, and there's a Moth of Wrath, so it's going to get real spicy real fast. Yeah, and the Harpies. And the issue too is I would be warped in there, right? Like I would be here. And Orb of Destruction doesn't have enough space to operate, and I don't really have the best area of effect spells. Fulminating Prism doesn't have enough time to go. Yeah, and Barbed. I mean, I could, like, try to bounce Lightning, but I just don't think I have the spells. Like, if I had Shatter or Tornado or something, maybe, but I don't think so. Yeah, Peacock, you're right. I do have the condenser vein, but I don't know if I can count on that to clear that for me, you know? I'm going to tell you what. Discretion is the better part of valor, valor um, and I'm just not going to lose to that right now. I could see that killing this character in a heartbeat. Oh, nice. I love it. <laughs> I like that snack. I saw a Moth of Wrath. Yeah, it is a, tra it, it is a tra trap, Peacock. I mean, like, it would start enraging that Hydra, and then I'd be dead. Um, that's awesome that your wife was just slinging Shatter out in your D&D &D campaign, Dylan. Angry Birds for sure. They turn red on me. You know what, Chris? I, I bet that actually is worth something. You you should eBay that bad boy. That's how my buddy played Breath of the Wild was on his Wii U because he didn't have a Switch at the time. Um, I mean, the Wii U itself, I kept wanting to pick up a Wii U at some point and at GameStop, it never went below $250 used. Like, it was just always expensive. You'd think like, oh, okay, well, it's a dead system. It's going to get cheaper. And they're like, no, no, no. It never goes cheap. Hey, Panda, good evening. How you doing? Panda, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Thank you for asking. We um we're trying to make some some headway here. Oh, I'm getting hit by something invisible and then there's Ah, uh, this isn't good. I'm out of magic. Okay. Mm. It is. Game value is a strange thing, Snack. It's just like... What are you willing... What are you willing to sell it for, I guess. Mm. Oh, cool. Perfect, Panda. Yeah, I'm trying to get a... Um, A 
I do have a win with a, a demon spawn, but not with a draconian. That's what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> Isn't it crazy, Snack? All right, I need to find the way up. All right, it's way over here. So I'm going to just... I think I can outrun these guys. I really just need to rest. There we go. All right, that's good. Got it. <laughs> that's funny. Is the game good, though? That's the question. That's cool. I'll tell you what. It's the Pale Draconian Panda breathes uh, scalding steam. So I can shoot a sauna out of my nostrils at people if I want to. Which generally I do. Hmm. Boy, these guys are not impressed. Uh-oh. We got a problem here. Yeah, the steam is pretty good. But I'll tell you what. It's not good is this situation. Um... Isn't that the way that it goes? Yeah, exactly, Sir Theodore. Houston needs to uh, needs to bail out. The game does spite you, Peacock. Exactly. It's just like um, I have been lucky with mine. All right, I'm gonna blink and see where I go. Nah, that's no good. I mean, I'm away from them. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. This guy wants to fight. So let's just tell him all about Orb of Destruction. He heard about it. He liked it. Um... You know, I'm getting access to Fireball, but that's not really good for me. Honestly, I'm really, really close to just getting Iron Shot. <laughs> exactly, Dylan. It's all I've got is just Orb of Destruction. I mean, but it's a good it's a good thing to have. I mean I'm not I'm not upset. But I might need a different nuke. There you go, Snack. You're on a roll tonight, Snack Man. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Snack Man. Alright. These staircases like this don't usually end up well. Oh no. A distant snort. We all know what that means. The distant snort means there is a gauntlet here. The question is, can I, can I take it? All right, so I'm gonna read my mapping. And uh, the gauntlet is right here. I know, Enon. 
but I feel like I can learn from my mistakes. I won't underestimate it. Actually, another thing I'm going to do... Um, oh. There you go, Dylan. I like it. It's kind of piggish, Neo. Boy, you're really throwing down the gauntlet, Panda, if you know what I mean. Okay. Death before dishonor. Yeah, that's the way to be. No, it's not. It's called, I'm going to try it, but I'm not going to, I just can't die. Here they come. They know that we're here. Oh, all right. Well, this is invisible. All right. All right, we got it. Yeah, curried favorite. I think that's the way to be. Like, I can just run if it's my nightmare, and it's probably going to be. Oh, here's a book. Hey, we got swiftness. That's right, Sir Theodore. I might have to, to be honest. You know, um, gosh. Semper Fi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right, Peacock. Don't give Zot the satisfaction. Yeah, I go out on my terms. That's a good question. The servitor is down here. I could, I could get Spellforge Servitor. Dylan, I've thought about booting that game up. It seems pretty cool. I might give it a shot. Abyssal Knights, big time. Servitor Plus, yeah, so I could have this, right? Tornado's coming down. That's cool, Dylan. So the question would be, do you guys think, because, yeah, Peacock, I could turn it down a little bit. Sometimes the songs don't get, are a little bit too crazy. Hey, hey, Booty Doo, how you doing? Good evening. So here's the thing. Yeah, so my servitor is going to spam Orb of Destruction. And do I want that to happen, given that it could hit me and kill me? Ah, uh, it's good to... S yeah, it's it's great to have you back, Booty. We're just... We're just trying to make the dream happen here. I'm going to run over here, actually, and just go in. <laughs> 